everyone i am back with another piece that i decided to do with the february 2021 sketchbox supplies this time applying it to one of my original characters his name is raymundo mundo for short and he's a chimera I pre-planned this as a thumbnail on another page of my sketchbook and then sort of ported the idea over here after I had the basic layout. And yeah, I know watching the sketching process even sped up just a little might be kind of boring for some, but I always want to show what shapes I use and what process I go through in order to create something. Done with roughs, now it's time for refining details. I decided that Mundo shouldn't be alone, so meet his friend Simon. Simon is a snake, sort of. In case anyone's wondering what I'm using to sketch with, it is a Palomino Black Wings natural pencil with extra firm lead. Black Wings are actually some of my favorite pencils to use for sketching, and in case you want to try some, I'll leave a link in the description below. Time for ink. And for that part, I use Pigma Micron pens. They seem to behave the best for me for watercolors and for alcohol markers.
I'm not gonna lie, trying to do this tail swoop in one go is really challenging. It's time for some bold outlines for focus. Please excuse the top of my head making a cameo. Thanks. And now it's time for coloring. And what's cool about the tinted graphite is that you can not only use it as a colored pencil, but also it being water soluble, you can use it like a watercolor pencil. The goal of putting it down this way is so that the heavier parts of the pencil show up darker and of course that spreads out once you add water. You'll see in just a little bit. My tool of choice to paint this graphite like I paint watercolors is the same tool I use for my watercolors. It's a Koi watercolor water brush, which is basically a brush that you put water in the handle. It's made for traveling, but I like it because it's compact and easy and not very messy.
one thing I will note about the tinted graphite whenever you add water or even just sketch with it, it does have a darker look to it than watercolors or regular colored pencils. But again, it's graphite. And I'm just thrilled that it comes in colors now because I've been using water soluble graphite in what I thought was the only color, gray. I don't know if any of you grew up with the watercolor dots books where everything just was pale polka dots until you added water with your paintbrush. That is what this reminds me of because boy, what a difference that makes. I know that this is running on one and a half times speed, but honestly, this graphite dries so fast. As someone with an almost lifelong love of tacky luau shirts, did you really think that I was going to leave this thing plain green? Oh no. The indigo and juniper half pans were some of my favorite things. You bet I was going to use them.
You know that feeling when you need something in the background, but you don't really want to do a background? Yeah, me too. To its credit, this stuff overlays very nicely. No, we need more details. We need more tacky things on the tacky shirt. And here's the finished piece. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you sticking around.